How's everybody doing? And thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, unicycles, wheelchairs, SUVs, and brand new 23 Silverado 1500s, just like this. Alrighty, so what are we looking at anyways? Right here on the front of this grill, we did have to do drill two holes, but we mounted our three inch M-Power quick mount there with the VHB and the VHB primer. Real nice light, works very well. It's very easy to wire the two leads from the back of those lights right through the firewall via a drilled hole with a three quarter inch grommet. We synchronized those lights right behind the switch that we put in the dashboard of this truck and join the powers and grounds behind that switch as well. So these lights mount very easily with a 22.5 extension wire running right inside to the switch. All right, let me talk about that switch a little bit. That's the switch right there. I'll go ahead and turn it off so you can see it a little bit better. Now you don't have to have a full illumination red like this. We just did that because the truck is beautiful in red, but that particular location is a nice spot for a switch right there by the headlights and everything else. And this panel here does come down, makes it easy to get up behind there and uh, and kind of do what you got to do. This panel is kind of a pain in the butt, though. I didn't take that one off. I just uh, took this one below it. And let me show you down under here where you're going to need to drill the firewall on this truck. If you do, where we went through is right there. So I like that spot. Do be careful. That's a three-quarter grommet that we have right there. And that's where we drilled, and we brought both of those grill lines right through it, as you can see there. Now, as far as your power... Where did we get power for this switch? When you fold this down, you'll see a fuse box with a bunch of metal in it that has battery power. You're simply going to run your fuse kit right from that box right up to the back of the switch. It's very easy. You don't need to go to the battery. And as far as ground, there is a very nice factory ground stud right behind here for all of your grounding needs. So this inside is fairly easy to do. Let's kick this back on and show you what the rear looks like. Do always keep in mind these stickers on used vehicles. If you see them, then they were through my shop. Alrighty, now around the back, we built to spec. This owner really likes the amber lights underneath the tailgate, so that's what we gave him. That's two 28-inch Thinex strips set on spastic. Actually, it's just a fast alternating pattern in amber, and they are set in 28 inch lengths because you can fill basically the whole bottom of the tailgate there with light. Now it is an amber white product, so if you wanted white flashing, you could, but on this build with red and his branding being reflective amber, I figured uh, all amber looks a little nicer and it's quite bright the way it is. Below it is a three inch M power, just like up front, but on a faster, more aggressive alternating pattern, just to add a little bit more stress and importance to the rear of this truck because as I said, Things are going down if this guy's around. So um, if you see the lights flashing, make sure you give him some space. And this was all we wanted to do on this particular vehicle. I like to go crazy, but the customer curtailed me a little bit and said, no, this is all we're going to need to do. So that's all we had to do. Now, as you can see, when I pull far away here, get a nice off access view. Those thin X strips do really well, I would say. Uh, easily well past 45 degrees uh, as far as viewable. They have a nice lens on them and even all the way out to about 90 degrees you're going to see those rear bumper steps the way they reflect in the pocket. They almost turn that entire step pocket into a light the way the amber bounces around in there. Really works very well on these GMs. Sierras have the same bumper so feel free to go ahead and do that on a Sierra if you have one as well. Keep in mind the Thinex strip underneath the Silverado bumper is very tight. There's not a lot of room, and it's kind of tricky to get it mounted. Fair warning, it's, uh, it, it's not that easy, but definitely doable. Take your time. Have a buddy stand behind you to make sure that you're not inadvertently putting it on there crooked. Use our primer promoter and make sure it's stuck very well. The last thing I'm going to mention here are a couple of items too big to ship. We do not get into shipping our fuel transfer tanks and hose reels and toolboxes and things like that just yet because they're too large and uh, we're just not set up for that. However, if you have some toolbox or fuel transfer tank needs and you're local, reach out to us via email and we'll get you taken care of. We can install or provide any of these items, bed covers, Linex spray-in bed lining. We have a great partner here locally for Linex spray-ins, as well as any of the accessories like bed covers, toolboxes. And this truck didn't get any, but we do steps as well. So, all right, I got a customer in my waiting room, so I'm going to close this video with another shot of the front of this beautiful red Chevy. Thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Mornings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting like what you're looking at right here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments, feel free to drop them. Reach out, say hi. Thanks for watching.